New York City is taking a major step in the road to reopening. The city is entering phase one, reopening for the first time in nearly three months since the coronavirus pandemic hit the U.S. New York City was the epicenter of the pandemic in the United States and the hardest hit city in the world, making today's milestone that much more significant. CBS 4's Tom Hansen reports from New York City. As the nation's largest city entered phase one of reopening, many stores opened their doors for the first time in 80 days. Super exciting to be back in the space. Um, we're looking forward to seeing all our customers again. But boutique owner Henri Myers says shopping at his store, Maison 10, will look very different with limited curbside and in-store pickup. Right now we are doing our by appointment only. Construction like this project resumed in the city as part of phase one. Wholesale and manufacturing are also included. New York became the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak, the worst hit region in the entire world. The city has logged more than 204,000 positive cases and over 22,000 deaths. Saturday, there were just six reported deaths. We are continuing our decline. The rest of the country is still spiking. Good to be back, right? Yes, it is. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo checked out a city subway station Monday morning. The system is back up and running at full capacity to help service up to 400,000 employees who are returning to work. Masks are mandatory. More than 1 million free face coverings will be distributed. 25,000 gallons of sanitizer are also on hand. With New Yorkers back, there is concern the virus will return as well. We know that the reopening means more and more people will be close to each other. We need to get it right. So if we would like reopening, we got to stick with it. Protests over police brutality this past week led Governor Cuomo to urge demonstrators to get tested. The city aims to test 35,000 people a day. Tom Hanson, CBS News, New York.